Hey, welcome back. This is M Dog, back from vacation. Hope you all are doing well. Uh, certainly glad to be back. Although always nice to have a little time off from work and just spend some good time with the family. But I thought we would um, do a little fishing report here on a spot at uh, Winding Rivulet. Pretty sure we have another fish on. No, we don't. All right. So uh, we are here at Winding. And um, this is where we are on the map. We're actually kind of in H3, I guess, but right there at the four corner spot there. 120, 121 is the spot. You may have seen this on VK if you check it uh, pretty frequently. But ultimately, this spot is a you know, one of those long shots trying to hit a Donich Rough trophy. Although, as is typically the case, when Red Worm is the bait of choice for the Donich Rough, which if we go to weekly, I'm sure it's going to be Red Worm. Yeah, both at Winding and Seversky. But especially Winding and especially here in the last day or two, you're seeing a lot of nice ones come out on red worms. So this is one of the spots where that could happen. Uh, so far we have everything but the Donnitz Rough. And I was trying to see how many species we have. We have 12 species. And while we're recording this video, we'll be coming up on one hour. So I, I, I'm sort of doing this so you can see, okay, yeah, you might come here for the Donnitz Rough, but what are you actually going to be catching? And if you're lucky, you may get a couple of Donuts Rough or whatever. And if you're supercharged lucky, maybe you'll hit the trophy. Uh, which, to be clear, that's what you know people are hoping to do. Go ahead and hit that Donuts Rough. Uh, one of the reasons for that, of course, is the it's feeder, right? Is the using a picker rod stage four of the feeder um, qualification. Uh, another reason is we pretty much just like to try to have a trophy for every species and of course this is one of the rare ones so there's our first Donuts rough in this spot it does come in the late night time which is when you expect all the way up till what 4 or 5 a.m. maybe 9 a.m. in some cases um, but as I said we've almost been here an hour and that's the first one and so that's what we're going for, but in reality, that's not what we're catching. We're catching everything but the Donut Rough, right? Except for the occasional one that does come in. Um, so let's go ahead and look at what we are catching. I keep sort of getting distracted by fish. So a lot of bream. Now, you'll notice the size of these bream. At least a couple of these are big enough for fish pieces. So that's the only benefit there. Uh, you're not going to get cafe orders for these bream. Um, you know, it, they're useless. But as you can see, we're using size 24 hook. And we're at 18 clip, red worms, whatever leader. I think I've got like 6.8, 7.4, 5.4, different leader sizes, just testing stuff out. But all of them are 24 hook with red worm. Oh, I do have loop rig. You know what? Right, let's go ahead and do something here. So this one's on inline. Um, I didn't even think about which rig types we were using. This is not standing water. I think, so I like loop rig, but I think I'm going to try basic bottom on one of them, actually. Everything else will keep the same. 18 meter clip. Um... So anyway, bream, we've got one Donuts Rough. Crayfish, if you're high enough level or if you've leveled up your bait crafting enough to turn those into baits, that'll be great. The only reason why I haven't done that yet is because I was wanting to keep everything so you could see exactly what we're going to be catching here. A couple of gibble carp. I'm going to be checking every once in a while to see if we have anything on. One gudgeon. You know, we've got like one of a few species so you can tell it's rare but occasionally you'll get like a gudgeon occasionally you might get an eyed 
a lot of nace. It actually feels like a nace spot in some ways. So like if you wanted to target in on the nace and try to hit a higher percentage of marker nace, that could be interesting. This is one of those where if there's a good cafe order for nace, I don't know that there is, but if there is, then that's a possibility. Perch, we've got one perch. River mussel, one river mussel. Again, bait, that's always helpful. See what we've got here. Another wide eye. The problem with the wide eyes, especially here at Donuts, or at least right now, I'm just seeing a lot of small wide eyes. So rough, three rough, uh, at least a couple of them uh, bait size in terms of if you want to turn those into bait fish, you could uh, possibly hit a rough order. Depends on how long you stay here and just kind of how many you end up catching. But there are some good rough orders, even here at Winding. Volga Xander, which I forgot that Volga Xander were even added to Winding. I think these were added not too long ago. We haven't had a marker yet, but um, I think if we switch to Nightcrawlers, but kept small hooks, we might be able to get some nice Volga Xander. One white bream, and it was a fat one. Looks like a pancake. Always like to see that. And then look at these wide eye bream. 12 of them, 100% non-marker. Kind of disappointing, but that's just the way it goes with wide eyes sometimes. Unless you're on a really good spot with the perfect bait. My guess is this is going to be a decent sized bream. Something this big, unless it's a random eyed or something. Yeah, it's a bream. So we didn't have any bream this size in the first... Uh, so when we first started fishing, obviously if we're coming up on an hour, we haven't hit an hour yet. So we weren't fishing at this time the night before. We started sometime uh, probably around 3 a.m. I'd say. Maybe 2 a.m. Let's see how long we've been going. But all the bream before that were small. Yeah, we're at 54 minutes. So about six more minutes is when we got our, our first fish here. Um, so we're coming up on an hour. But yeah, so those are the fish I've caught. Everything but the Donut Rough, which I can't technically say that anymore because we did have one. I, I mean, I totally believe that, you know, that, that Donut Rough are possible here. We've now seen it. Even before I caught one, I, I figured it was. I've seen the evidence on VK. I can t look at the weeklies and tell that, yeah, they are coming out some here at Winding. However, that doesn't mean that you're just going to come fish here for an hour and you know, get a ton of Donut Druff. They're rare even when they're active in a spot. So uh, that's kind of what we're looking at. And so as is mostly the case with Donut Druff spots, um, <laughs> it's almost never worth it, right? Except for if you never go for it, you're never going to get it. So that's why it's worth it. Other than that, it's just hard to justify you, I guess you might look at, well, these are premium baits. You can turn these into some good silver with some of the active, like, sterlet, sturgeon spots, that kind of thing. Um, you might also luck into a few cafe orders. So, like, if you're a little lower level and you want to try this, maybe look and see if you have any cafe orders that, you know, this kind of spot is going to line up with because um, if you come here and fish with small hooks and these baits other than the un other than the unpredictable things like the Donitz rough and then the random like okay we got one eyed one white bream you know one perch but so some of it is unpredictable but the other stuff uh, if there's a crayfish order if there's a rough order Maybe if there's a bream order, although you probably want to change your approach, hook size and that kind of thing. Um, if there's a small wide eye bream order, which I'm not sure if that exists, but if it did. So I, I feel like if you're lower level, this isn't a really good spot for you unless you just want to catch a bunch of different species. Or if at from a low level, you want to roll the dice and see if you can get lucky and hit a Donitz rough trophy. Uh, way earlier than your average bear kind of thing. So, I mean, here I am, level 43. 
I, I mean, I, I wouldn't even know. I, I so rarely go for these. Um, I really wouldn't even know what, um, does this show, hold on, how, how can I look at this? I wouldn't even know the largest one I've ever caught. Like, I just don't even think about it. I rarely go for them, but every once in a while I'll see a spot and I'll say, oh yeah, I'm supposed to try to catch a trophy one day. So we had a 221 gram Donitz Rough here at Winding on Red Worm. No telling when, probably a long time ago. Probably a long, long time ago. And you can see right now, this this spot actually was a pretty good bite rate during the daytime. Now, most of what I was catching was garbage, but it was a pretty good bite rate. Here at night, when we have a better chance of catching what we want to catch, the Donitz Rough, or a nice rough, or a crayfish to turn into bait, the bite rate actually feels pretty terrible. And we are now 58 minutes, so we've had our lines in the water for one hour now. We're at that sort of scary one hour mark when you start to question, are we gonna fish out the spot a little bit? Probably not right in an hour, but um, we, that could start to be a factor at some point. So I'll just blather on for a couple more minutes, but I don't want this to be a super long video. I mean, I don't know. If by 5 a.m., let's say 5.30, something like that, that's probably long enough to say like, okay, this is, this is what we're catching here over, over an hour, hour and 10 minutes, whatever. I just don't think of going for Donut's Rough that often. I should more often. Um, not that I need to always make a video about it. Cause frankly, these can get repetitive and kind of boring, but I like to do it every once in a while. Um, just because I like to rotate through all the different types of spots that I tend to check. Like if I wait long enough, I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm in the mood to do this. Let's go catch some bait. Uh, let's go, you know, hit some, try to hit some random cafe orders. Or most importantly, let's go roll the dice and see if we can get a Donuts. And, and really, I mean, it's exciting just to get the one. It was a marker, you know. I'll make a little bit of silver. I think there are occasionally Donut's Rough orders too, right? I don't know what they look like though. I spend so little time um, examining the cafe orders and there's some great resources that kind of show the different cafe orders that can pop up. But um, I just don't have that kind of like detail oriented mind. I sort of, I remember a few cafe orders. Like there's some that you hit like the lake trout order at Cory, the bream order at several places. Cause I fish for bream a good bit. Uh, the pike order at old Berg, the rough orders at mosquito. I mean, some of those I have pretty much down, you know, in my memory. Um, I've just got to do something here. I'm going to just recast something cause it's killing me right now. Although, if a spot is going to go completely dead for a while, isn't it often that 2 to 4 a.m. time frame? According to what you're going for, but that can be, even for night fishing, even if you're fishing for bream sometimes, 1.30, 2 a.m. will hit and it'll be like, whoa, where's my bite rate? It's not usually this bad, but still, it can be. So, I don't know. And I'm sure that, um, you know, if you're going to really go for these, Sometimes I see people will play around with like size 22 hook. In other words, you're trying to still catch the Donut's Rough, but you're hoping to kind of put it in your advantage a little bit. So maybe you'll get a slightly larger one towards the trophy size, have, have a chance. Um, I also myself sometimes will do that or myself sometimes will do uh, like a ground bait. You know, there's been ground baits that people have caught trophy Donut's Rough on. Here's a PVA. looks like at some point I tried PVA. That's weird. It uh, looks like I don't have any um, ground bait right now, but I've definitely had it before. Uh, That's another wide eye. These are just sad because they're so small. The amount of wide eye bream we're catching that are so tiny, it's just kind of depressing. And it's not the hook size. Um... I mean, you could use a little bit larger hook, but 
I think mostly it's the location. And then I also think sort of like, what's another example of something like this? Blue bream. Sometimes you'll be in a spot where you can catch a couple blue bream, but they're undersized, they're too small. It's gotta be a good spot to hit those markers. But there's a few species, a couple species like that, I guess. Um, where you're just like, man, give me a marker already. That's a little bream. Everything but the Donnett's Rough. By the way, I, I should say it is really nice to have chat active again. The fact that uh, it has been turned back on, that um, folks can chat in their groups again, send messages to each other. Really nice. It's just, it was very much missed. Um, so I'm glad that that's back. I am uh, hanging out in My Dogs is the name of our channel. We've got 434 players, and they have changed this. Can I? Uh, they have changed this now where it looks like I have the ability, and I remember seeing this on the patch notes. I didn't do a video on those patch notes because there really wasn't that much to talk about, but... It's a big thing that we can now delete channels. I almost wish um, we can also kick people from the channel. So as the owner of my channel, I can now basically administrate it a little bit. Um, you know, I, I it's hard because you're not on that much. Uh, you know, you're not always there. You almost want to be able to create like a few mods. It's a nice rough. You almost want to be able to create a few mods that have some. I also kind of wish there was a timeout feature, not just the like kick out type thing, but I don't know. And if you kick someone out, what keeps them from joining again? Are they banned permanently from your group? And can you unban them? There's just lots of questions I have. But anyway. It's a step in the right direction. Most of all, what I want to say though, it is nice seeing people in chat able to talk to each other, to be able to say hello to folks and um, pass information back and forth, talk about experiences in the game. So very thankful for that. All right, it's 5.30. This is about when we said we would, we would hang it up. So let's see one more fish here. I think we've got a fish on line three. It's at least nibbling. So we'll give it another second. And then maybe we'll just run up to the cafe to see. Um, like we probably aren't gonna hit cafe orders right now unless we get really lucky. But we might see that like, okay, if we did this for two or three days in a row, eventually we'd get there on a couple of cafe orders, possibly, I don't know. We'll, we'll go look and see what they just happen to be right now. And then we will wrap it up. I think we've got one on. Yeah, there we go. One more fish. I tell you what we'll do is we'll go run up there and then we'll run back down and see maybe we'll have a fish or two on the line. That's always fun to do. It's a little bit of a haul. It's not too bad to sit in a huge map, so. And we're at 54 fish in just over an hour. Again, the bite rate's not bad. It's just the problem is you're catching so much garbage because of the hook size, right? And the bait you're using. Red worm will just about catch everything in the water, but not at the right sizes, at least at that hook size. Feels like it takes forever, doesn't it? Running back to town. 63 silver. That's actually more than I would have expected. Um, 
That's because of that Don It's Rough, though. That Don It's Rough's 26 silver by itself. All right, Crucian Carp. I mean, I, I think you probably might be able to get lucky on that. Gibble Carp, sure, you could get that one. Uh, this cafe order you could get. Haven't seen any Chinese sleepers in that spot, so that's unlikely. Rough order, like I almost want to go ahead and just do that one. I mean, that's 11 silver, mine as well, right? Uh, Gudgeon, yeah, but you'd have to get pretty lucky there. Two over 70, we can also do this one for 15.8. So that's where you can start getting lucky. We're probably not going to get that perch. Uh, I guess the Volga Xander order is possible. Um, but not using red worm. I, I think you'd have to switch to Nightcrawler, and even even with that, to get a 1.4 Volga, that's lucky, right? Um, let's see what the weekly Volgas have even been and where they've been. So winding with this, and that was that's you know these are big enough. Um, what about all time at winding? Oh, uh, there's night crawlers. That's what I was thinking was night crawlers, but I'm not. Sh I wasn't sure. So again, even just that little snapshot, we got a couple of cafe orders. A couple more we might be able to get. Um, and you know, that's just luck of the draw on what cafe orders are active right now. But when you're catching this big of a variety of fish, it feels like. You're usually at least going to get one or two. Because winding, sort of like mosquito, winding does have some pretty easy forgiving cafe orders. And that's, I mean, you know, you're going to get more silver on those than just selling the fish. All right, let's see. Um, let's see. Of course, we don't want to really turn in like crayfish or, um, or, the mussels, river mussels. Where are we right now? Yeah. We want to use those as baits because one day we'll catch a sterlet, sturgeon, something. And uh, we'd rather have that as, as premium bait. Man, these things, this has gone from being a, a nace spot at first, it felt like a nace spot, but not anymore. Now it feels like a white, white eye spot, and none of them are markers. Oh, that's a nace. So there you go. Just a bunch of everything but the Donnets rough, right? All right. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. As a reminder, 120, 121, that's where we are here at Winding, 18 meter clip. I'm not suggesting you should come fish here. Uh, just if you want to roll the dice, see if you can hit that Don It's Rough, one in a million. This is a spot where it could happen, right? Is that a chub? Just for fun, how many fish species is that? So we're at 13 now, just crazy. All right, tight lines, everybody. I'll see you next time.